it thoroughly during the upcoming recess. Linda Akibi, Channels Television News. We'll remain with the Red Chamber as the Senate Committee on SAT has rejected the proposed appropriation of the sum of 4 billion naira for the construction of a First Ladies Mission building in Abuja. The Chairman of the Senate Committee on the Federal Capital Territory, Smart at AME, made this known while presenting a report on the SAT 2013 appropriation bill. The Senate, however, approved a sum of 259 billion. 749 million naira as the FCT statutory budget for the 2013 year. Senate President David Mack cautioned the FCT administration to make judicious use of the funds. Now, the House of Representatives has suspended debate on the budget amendment bill sent to the National Assembly by President Goodluck Jonathan. One of the lawmakers, Yakubu Dogara, explained that the bill is illegal and contravenes Section 81 of the Constitution. The Speaker, however, ruled that the committee should look into the issues raised and suspend the debate on the bill. As we know, on all the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Amino Tambua, calling for a debate on President Goodluck Jonathan's amendment to the 2013 budget. But the majority leader had barely started the lead debate when a point of order was raised. The amendment that is being sought today, Mr. Speaker, I don't know where to classify it based on this provision of the Constitution. To my mind, it is an appropriations bill number two. We all know in this assembly what an amendment looks like. If the president truly intended that we amend this appropriation act, all he needed to do is to bring a signed copy of the one he has done and then provide that clause, this should be deleted, this should be inserted here. But that is not the document before us. An attempt to speak against the objection raised was resisted by the lawmakers. When order was eventually restored, the deputy speaker made his case for the bill. The bill before us is not a final document. It is a document that is dead on arrival, but it is our responsibility as a parliament to dot the I's and cross the T's. Point of order, Mr. Speaker. Point of order, Mr. Speaker. The speaker, however, took this position. In this case, honorable colleagues, I hereby direct, and that's my ruling, the Committee on Rules and Business justice and judiciary to look at this and report back to the house at the next available uh day that's my ruling a ruling many of them did not like but some of them applauded so when will the bill now be debated next available legislative date according to the speaker will, will discuss that uh, and I'm sure that will be maybe when we come back from the break because tomorrow will definitely be dedicated solely for anniversary. It's expected that supporters of the bill will use the postponement of the debate to lobby for more support for the bill. Lanry Lassese, Channels Television News. Yet another PDP governor gets hit. The National Working Committee of the PDP today announced the suspension of the Sokoto State Governor Aliu Wamako from the party. The PDP's National Publicity Secretary, Olisa Mutu, explained that the decision to suspend Governor Wamako followed repeated breaches and disregard of the party's constitution. Back in Lagos, residents of the state have been asked to give relevant information to the security officers of anyone suspected to be involved in any kind of criminal activity in the state. Speaking to journalists after a closed-door meeting with Governor Babatunde Fashola, the State Deputy Commissioner of Police Operations, Mr. Tunde Sobulo, says there will be no hiding place for kidnappers or anyone involved in drug trafficking, as the security agencies in Lagos will make the state uncomfortable for them. A lot of hideouts. The NDLA also joined the military. 
we are all out there to read. So anybody who is having information about their neighborhood where some bad boys are, should call us on 767 or 112, pass this information to us, we'll go after it and get this up, these people arrested. The kidnapping thing also, we are doing very well uh, on that. We have uh, spread our, our net to Ogun State, we have been discovered that some of the people in transit, I'm not going to actually, I will not tell you actual place they are, but we are getting closer. So the best thing for them, don't come to Lagos. If you kidnap from here to anywhere in the country, we will go after you. Well, the news at 10 returns. Federal government to begin payment of PHCN severance allowance to join us again. It's happening on Metropolitan. All you need to know in the social circle, the event, the places, and the people. All the excitement on Metro Files every Friday at 11 p.m. Only on Channel Television. Metro Files, Glitz and Glamour. Well, taking you back in time, some weeks ago we brought you a story on the point of no return in Esukumba community in Akpabu, your local government area of Cross River State. In our community report tonight, we we'll take you back to that particular community for a story on trade by barter, an outdated means of exchange still practiced in that community as far back as the 18th century, as well as its uniqueness and economic significance to the people. Etisola, now you talking. The Esukumba market was a focal point in the era of slave trade. It was a delivery point for slaves shipped out of the country through the point of no return, a bush truck behind the market. This local market is not like others where money is the only means of exchange for goods and services. What distinguishes this one is the act of trade by barter, a practice held in high esteem. The market also prides itself as one of the very few in Africa where barter is still observed. Our people, in fact the world, acknowledges uh, trade by barter as uh, a system of interaction and livelihood uh, of the ancient times. Uh, um, but the here, barter system protects the people, and that is why it has survived the, the, the centuries even till today. And in that area, there is stability of what you could call currency, in quotes. Even though you don't see a uh, printed paper that they say is currency. The market which fills every Saturday attracts farmers from neighboring communities who come with their farm produce to exchange them for what they do not have or need at the moment. Items commonly exchanged are vegetables, fruits, seafoods and other food crops. Anything you have here, even okra, I get fish, you, you will give me that uh, okra and I give you my crayfish or fish. If you get something, if you get a uh, cassava, we hold, we here with again a crafts. We change it. That is spread by butter. Okay. What, what did you bring in exchange of what you're getting now? I brought, uh, brought up for us. Most times, the measure of exchangeable goods is of little concern. What matters most is the value and need at the moment. What we are bringing here is like this pop up. When we want to sell it, it could be like 15 naira. But when we want to change it, they, they think that they will give us it will no better than the money that we want to sell it. Only very few use money as a means of exchange, especially those from the city. Do you sell or you exchange? No, I'm selling. You're selling. Why, why don't you do exchange? No, I cannot do that. Why? I'm not from this side. The people from this side know how to do it. Not every market being like this market. And not everybody knows the need of this market. 
except the people that come to the market, we know the need of it. We need government to to to, to grade this market, uh -huh, to make it bigger, so that people know the market quite all right. We have that uh, uh, wonderful, I must call it wonderful.